Good morning everybody, it's Dale here with the Santa Sells Houses team and another version of the Monday Market Update. I'm coming to you from the Forks of the Thames, where it all began here in London. We got the uh, the water jets here that, that uh, in the warmer months they squirt water out into the, the uh, forks out here in the bay. Got some ducks swimming by. Alright, there we go. Got it flipped around. So let's get into the Monday Market Update. Uh, sorry if there's some glare here. It's uh, extremely bright behind me here. So in the last week, we saw 147 new listings come to market. We've got 55 conditionals and we had 87 houses sell. Uh, so we're kind of staying steady the last little while for, uh, for those numbers. We also had uh, last week the October stats came out from LSTAR, from our board. So what we're seeing now is the new listings to sales ratio is sitting at 51.4%. So for every every new listing that comes out, 51.4% of them are currently selling, which means we're, we've transitioned into a more balanced market at this point. So that is like the last six, six and a half years we've been in a seller's market. So prior to that, we were in at least 10 years maybe 15 years or so of a balanced market. So meaning uh, buyers and sellers have a more equal opportunity. Um, there's more selection out there for buyers to choose from and sellers have a little more competition and it's taking a little bit longer for homes to sell. Um, so that being said, um, it's still a fantastic time to buy or sell. Doug Ford also announced last week that the government may be reducing some of the green belt area around the GTA to add about 50,000 homes into that zone. Now they're uh, proposing to move that to just a different area in the province. Where that'll be, time will tell. Will it actually happen? Again, time will tell. We'll have to do some studies on it. We'll have to do some studies to see if it's uh, viable and if it makes sense. Uh, but again, the, the uh, province has announced that they need 5.8 million new homes built by 2030 uh, so that's a lot <laughs> that's that's a lot of homes right so they got to go somewhere uh, is that the best place in an environmentally sensitive area probably not but again they'll they'll do their studies and, and see what comes up so um, another interesting stat from last week was that we were still seeing a lot of homes decrease in price so we saw 61 homes decrease in price last week which again just means sellers are becoming more in tune with with the current market the state of the market and adjusting their prices accordingly uh, to what the the needs are in the area to try to get those houses sold uh, that's about it for the meat and potatoes right now oh one more thing to mention uh, london is also our average price is hundred and fifty one thousand dollars below canada's average price so it's still a very affordable market to be in um, basically we're cheaper than everything east of us heading towards kitchener waterloo toronto and slightly more expensive than places west and north of us so um, yeah we're still a very affordable area reach out to us if you are looking to buy sell or invest in real estate or if you just want to chat and have a coffee have a great day